Congratulations on Midsommar, guys. It is an amazing film. And what I especially love about it is that it's like all things at once. It's a horror film. It's an anthropological thesis. It's a breakup movie. <laughs> what was it that first drew you to the script? I would say the visuals. It was just, hopefully it was going to be able to be extremely beautiful in this disturbing story. Mm. And I think it, it succeeded. Yeah. Very unique, like yeah. nothing I'd ever read before, I think, struck by what a kind of ambitious and, and daring film it was that, as Willem said, if it was executed properly, it would kind of just achieve some real cut through and, and, and set itself apart from lots of the other things that, you know, um, you can watch these days. Um, and Ari, just being such a gifted filmmaker, was obviously, you know, um, a major pull factor for all of us, I think. Uh, yeah, I think for me, it was just, you know, I... I, th I think when it when you're dealing with like a group of people that believe a certain thing and you can't shake it, it's like it's a you know that's 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 a really terrifying mm -hmm. concept mm -hmm. uh, and relatable. Yeah, to this day and age, <laughs> um, Wilhelm. Um, now Pele is such an interesting character because he seems so open and inviting and warm to his yeah. friends, but at the same time, there's like that side of him bubbling under the surface that's you know very cold and calculating. What was it like bringing those two together? Um, I, I, I really tried to just be as kind and as open-minded uh, uh, to, to his like s empathy and, mm -hmm. and, and but uh, that's that's a fun character to play mm -hmm. to to be that kind and also not be a kind at all. <laughs> 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 On the flip side, Mark kind of seems like he has the purest motivations in the film. Like he just wants to have a good time, right. you know, <laughs> and, <laughs> and just forget about everything else. So mm. what do you find most relatable about him? Um, you know, n hopefully not all that much. He's <laughs> such an asshole. But, um, but you know, for me, uh, the thing that kind of drew me to playing Mark was the dichotomy that existed between what he projects and what he puts out in the world and actually I think what's going on internally. I think he he sort of projects this idea that he's like highly confident, he's there for a, a good time, he's the kind of like sort of um, person who, you know, loudest voice in the room and, and, and uh, you know, a kind of like sort of party starts or whatever, but I think internally he's a uh, very self-loathing very insecure um and you know he's also feels like a very regressive out of date sort mm -hmm. of personality um that i kind of wanted to sort of hold up as an example of what not to do in in lots of ways that is that's a good lesson um, finally uh, josh is the one that's most like authentically invested in the horga but mm -hmm. he also has that like academic rivalry with Christian that leads him to maybe overstep his boundaries. Yeah. Would you like to talk a little bit about that dynamic and the dissolution of that friendship? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I think it's like, you know, especially from Josh's point of view, I feel like, you know, uh, you know, when it comes to a lot of Western cultures, there haven't been a, a lot of communities that have not been touched by the outside world. And I think that that's, you know, the idea of, of that being a possibility is incredibly fascinating and it can really like just sort of make them and have to share that with a guy who <laughs> just sort of bumbled into it, uh, you know, is, is really uh, infuriating, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Um, you know, and so I, I think that, you know, it's, it's, yeah, so it does like sort of like push me to a place of, uh, you know, making some really questionable decisions, <laughs> you know.